Hi, I'm Nancy, and welcome to the Pilates at Home series with Sunset Pilates Bali. We are so excited to be connecting with you via our weekly virtual classes that you can do in the comfort of your home. Today, I want to use the chair because everybody has a chair and I want to show you what exercises or what Pilates exercises we can do just sitting on the chair. Yeah, we'll try to start with the breathing exercise. Just relax your legs. You can sit up tall, feel the chest open, and just breathing, arms up and down. Each time you bring the arms up, feel the shoulder blades press down. And in. Exhale. Keep feeling that stomach pressing in and up. In. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Good. And you can take your knees to the side first. When you bend the knee, the knee should level with your foot. All right. So we bring the arms up and just feel the stretch first to the side. In, exhale. And in, stretch first and then side bend. And in, and press. Lengthen from the hip bone. Press. Last one. And press. Then we can just stand up. We put the chair like this. So you're behind the chair. We're going to stretch. You can put one foot here or on top. So. Because I'm more stretch, I want to do it more on the upper chair. Exhale. What you feel is the stretch in the hamstring. Yeah? You can also do it low and stretch. As you bend, you feel the stretch in the hip. In and stretch. Just do a couple of times, three, four times, and we change. Exhale to stretch. Bend, feel the stretch in the hip, and then stretch. Feel stretch in the hamstring. One more. Exhale. Of course, you can also do it more Lower, depending on how stretch you are. Exhale, right? You step to the back. Feel your ankle and hip in alignment. And your arms align with your ear. You bend the knee. Exhale to stretch. You feel the hip pressing to the back. And pull up. In and up. In and pull. And press. Last one. Stay there. Hold the floor if you can. And just roll slowly up. Open the chest. We roll down. Exhale down, in, exhale, pull back up. Let's do one more. Keep your hip in the same place, reaching down, exhale, pull, and open the chest. Good. You want to sit back, All right? Just keep the chair like so. Hands here, hold, then you press shoulder blades in and relax. 
So press through the chair. Exhale and relax. One more. Exhale. Last one. And press. We try to lift. So feel knee, ankle, knee, hip in a straight line. You want to sit tall. Take your right or your left leg on top and then you just roll forward what you want to feel is the butt stretch exhale up exhale down and pull last one reaching three times and change side take your other leg on top and just pull and make sure ankle knee in a line. Press. Last one. Exhale. Up. Now we warm up your stomach muscle. On the exhale, so you just sit at the edge. You try to bring the knees up to the chest. Exhale. Pull. Yeah? Just hold softly. In. Exhale. Pull. Yeah, you can also do it without holding. If your stomach is more stronger, exhale. You feel the pull with the lower stomach. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Good. Let's try to do the hundred on the chair. Yes, you can do that. You can have your knees bend like this or when you're more stronger you can lift the head the leg straight arms by your side head in and then you can stretch and we do the hundred three four five up two three four in two three four five up two and three Four. Exhale. Five. Up. Six. If you like strain, you can always hold one hand on the leg. Eight. Nine. And last one. And that concludes our hundred. You can go off the chair. Sit tall. Just do roll down. Exhale down. In. Exhale straight. Exhale down, in, exhale, straight. Good. So, after that, we put the chair back in a straight position. You sit back on the chair, lengthen, and we go with the leg straight. Good. Open the legs a bit. Right, and we want to do the spine stretch. In, exhale, reach, and come back up. You want to feel the ribs in, stomach scoop in, and curl back up. In, ribs in, reach with your hands forward or towards the feet. That's fine too. In. Exhale, but belly connection. So when I do that, I squeeze my butt, stomach press to the spine, and feel the stretch from the lumbar up. Then bend the knee again, feet together, right? Lengthen, and we do the spine twist. You twist in. Exhale. 
each time you bring your arm to the back, feel tall with your spine. So you can stretch the chest more. Exhale. It's inhale to twist. Exhale. Try not to move the knee. Exhale. Look behind you to feel that neck stretch as well. Reach. And. Here, last one, and to the left, reach, good, so we have the spine stretch, the twist, and now we try to do the saw on the chair, flex your feet, the legs a bit wider than the hip, open the arm, and you twist first, in, exhale, reach, In, exhale, reach, lengthen more, exhale up. So it's exhale to reach, inhale to stretch more, exhale to lift. Go very slow on this. And so you want to keep feeling that hip still. And exhale, reach, in, exhale up. Open the chest, reach, exhale, last set, reach, and last one, exhale, reach, and come up. Let's try a bit of challenging work, it's good for your shoulder strengthening. You put both hands here, aligned with your shoulders. You take your legs to the back and you go into plank. Point your feet, flex your feet. In, exhale. Stay point and then you bend the elbow and press. We call this the push up. In, exhale. In. Exhale. Good for your tricep work. Exhale. Last one. And stretch your spine. Good. Let's go back on the mat. And I want after the push up, you go into cat position. And we do thread the needle. So lift one arm up and twist. In, exhale, reach, and pull. One more set and stretch. Change arm, like so. And stretch, reach, and pull. Two more set. Press. Last one. And stretch. And we go on the stomach again. Head for your imprint. In. Exhale, press. In and press. Good. Last one. Press. We go back. Do your elbow close to body. On the exhale, lift the chest. And we try to stretch the arm. In, exhale. Bring the elbow first and then the head. In, exhale, pull, reach, exhale, down. Feel shoulder blades press down. Exhale, pull. Well, we try to do the swan dive 
but just keep your arms beside you. So you roll to the front, lift your legs up, and then stretch again. So just keep your hands close to the body. In, exhale. In, exhale. Last one. Good. In, and then go slowly down. And you stretch. And rest. We want to go on the side again. So, get yourself to the side. Let go first so you know the hip level. And then you stretch. This time, I want your heel together and feet turn up. We want to bring the knee up and stretch again. In, exhale. Push your side and you feel this muscle. Exhale. Press. And let's go for three more. Last one, we stay, bend with the knee, take your foot in the front, and back, and the knee still facing up, both with your heel, in, and out, and in, and out, and three, and out, we go faster, we go two, in, two, up, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. So it's opening the hip. And in, in, out, out. Last one, out, out. Then you take your foot in the front. You can hold here and lift your lower leg. Exhale. Keep feeling the hip. Stable. This is three. And feel your inner thigh muscle. Good. Hold it there and try to make small circle with the leg. And reverse. Just do four steps. Three, four, and Bend the knee, lift yourself up, and stretch. Okay, we go to the other side. Bend first, so you feel the knees level, hip level, then you stretch. Right? Heel together, feet a bit apart. And we bring the foot in towards the knee. In, exhale. Keep feeling the knee facing up. And three more. Who feel the hip opening? Two. Last one. We stay up with the knee. And we just put the toe and to the back in front exhale feeling the hip control and press in nice sun and we want to go for two into out in in out out in in you feel that muscle Feel the hip opening. In, in, out, out. Two more. Last one. And take the foot in the front. Align. And then you take the lower leg up. 
exhale in three more last one stay up you lengthen and you circle the leg and reverse bend both knees reach it up and stretch and come back up yeah. let's go up to kneeling up again feel that hips stay in lock position and i want you to put the right foot forward knee hip align knee ankle align we want to reach forward as you bring the hip forward bend the elbow in exhale and in exhale you feel the stretch in the hip and pull lengthen pull with your stomach reach Feel the chest open up and we relax the arms, change, lock the hip first and put one foot in the front, reach and press and come up and in, you feel the stretch here and reach and pull and in and legs reach and pull open the chest last one stretch your hip Good. and we go sitting up again to stretch your hamstring so just bend lift one leg Hold the ankle and just stretch it. Pull forward. In. Exhale. In. And press. You can hold also here. Yeah? Change leg. Just the final stretch. Hold. And pull. And press. And pull. And you bend both knees. Let's try rolling first. And then I'll teach you another type of rolling like a ball. So rolling like a ball is this. Exhale. And in. Exhale. In. Exhale. Good. Now you want to put your hands inside what we call this is the seal you clap twice first and then go down clap twice and then come up you can also clap three times one two three one two three one two three one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And stretch your legs. And pull. Reach it. Going to do the breathing again to finish. Cross. And just lengthen the arm. In. In and press. Reach. Yeah. I want you to put your hands to the back. Look to the right. Looking down. Circle to the left. Looking up. Go back down. Exhale. You feel the neck stretch. And pull. One more set. And last 
one, pull, and relax shoulders after that. And I hope you enjoy your class. Thank you.